Let's talk about another poisonous plant, the calla lily. So I'm actually in possession of a calla lily. I have one. She is kind of sad. Um, this is my beautiful daughter. I... <laughs> okay, so to be fair, I bought this bulb from the dollar store like four years ago. And I am so surprised that it's still alive. It has never flowered. It almost definitely never will. She's got one leaf. Might have another one coming here. There's an orange tree that I stuck just some, some seeds from one of my oranges in that I was eating. But this is my calla lily. She is not doing well. But I mean, she's like four years old from the dollar store, so I really can't complain that much. So this is kind of how they're supposed to look. This is the flower. This this is what she could have looked like. But since we're talking about her, they're poisonous. So compared to other things that I have talked about in my kind of poisonous plant series, calla lilies really aren't that bad. They are quite toxic to cats and dogs and other pets, so be aware of that. If you do have a calla lily, make sure your pet doesn't eat it because it is quite a bit more toxic to them than it is to humans. However, it can still cause some problems with humans. So all parts of the plant have these things called raphides, which are basically calcium oxalate crystals. And what happens if you touch or ingest or whatever, like not touch, like you have to be pretty manhandling it. Like if you just touch the leaf, it will be fine. But if those crystals get embedded in your skin uh, after touching it or in your mouth after eating it, it can cause a bunch of skin irritation. So kind of like burning or itching or just feeling like your skin feeling bad after ingesting or touching certain parts or enough of the plant, as well as if you ingest enough of the plant, it can cause gastrointestinal issues, such as vomiting or diarrhea. However, they're almost, like, there's very, very, very unlikely to be fatal. So, yeah, while being toxic, it's not nearly as bad as some other things. Again, <laughs> you can buy them from the dollar store, so, <laughs> yeah, they're really not an effective poison, but they're very pretty and they're just another interesting plant.